So, um, hello Narain. Um, yeah, uh, welcome to the Cloud Server Management Mini Comp in Chennai. Uh, we are really excited to be here. Um, let's, for the people who do not know Narain, uh, let's start with your introduction. Like, who are you and what do you do? Uh, well, uh, yeah, first I will tell the full name. I am uh, Narain Dran and uh, I uh, work uh, for an AI startup called uh, Mastery Dran. I work as a product engineer there. Mm, primarily focused on uh, the backend side of the product, uh, scaling and uh, building uh, highly available systems. Yeah, okay. So, um, so what what does Mastery Den into? Uh, Mastery Den is um, uh, totally an uh, AI startup, and uh, we uh, have a, a wide uh, suite of uh, products uh, uh, powering uh, the e-commerce and retail domain. Mm -hmm. Uh, right from uh, automating their e-commerce website uh, till uh, you know uh, managing and automating their uh, warehouse. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So, so you mentioned that you were a product engineer, right? Yes. Um, what What did your journey uh, like to become a product engineer? Like, if if you were to suggest uh, an ideal path to someone, uh, what would that look like? Uh, my journey it's not anything uh, specific i didn't have any specific goal i was just going along with the flow mm -hmm. uh, when i graduated i'm basically an electronic uh, engineer mm -hmm. i graduated uh, from uh, i got my electronics degree and i worked as an emerald engineer for a year oh, okay. and i was de designing firmwares and i was doing chip level stuff then uh, at that time iot was the uh, buzzword yeah, and i was <laughs> I was working on that, uh, then I realized beyond my sensors, I didn't know what's cloud mm -hmm. as an electronics engineer, I don't know much about software, I don't know what is cloud, how my data is going there, how the things are getting connected, right. so I just wanted to explore the software world and uh, I uh, switched my field from uh, electronics to um, uh, software by uh, joining a, a big data startup, mm -hmm. then after uh, uh, a year I joined Mastery then as a backend engineer. Got it, got it. Uh, then slowly I developed the uh, platform, a platform, then started building uh, products. On it. So how, how would you describe your journey? Like what was it like for you know for, for someone who's been working on embedded systems and chip level stuff to now designing AI uh, and you know uh, things around that? Uh, so. It uh, was <laughs> quite a journey. It just uh, you don't have. I mean, like uh, once you're out of college, it doesn't mean that you have uh, stopped learning. Learn. Like, yeah, absolutely. You have to. It's it's, it's totally continuous uh, learning. You have to uh, keep up to date with uh, your uh, tech, mm -hmm. and uh, either uh, by uh, going through all the you know latest news or attending conferences like this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so they are that uh, continuous learning and uh, you know uh, just uh, bringing learning into my comfortable zone uh, mm -hmm. or my comfort zone it enabled me uh, to be in such a place. Got it, got it. So I think that's that's one interesting point that you mentioned. Um, you know, you spoke at this conference uh, yeah. today. Right? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what what your talk was? Uh, so my talk was about. Um, uh, you know, uh, using uh, a serverless architecture approach to design uh, and uh, scale a log, log analytics platform. Yeah. And uh, how Mastery then uh, used uh, uh, a normal, a traditional uh, architecture, how we designed it first and uh, what um, issues or, you know, uh, things we faced, yeah. uh, then how we uh, went for serverless approach and how we are experimenting that. So. I spoke about that and I was able to give a demo on that. Got it. So what, what I mean, speaking at an event um, requires a considerable amount of energy, effort and preparation. Right? I mean, um, in, in your case, I mean, for this conference, uh, people had to prepare the content, abstract and then yeah. put in slides and then do rehearsals and yes. then finally uh, come here on a Saturday 
to uh, to ID yeah. uh, to give the talk. Right? Yes. Um, why do you think uh, this is important? Like, why is it important to you that uh, people should go? Like, why would you say that it is important for people to go speak at events, conferences, and community? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, I would totally love to answer that question because I recently wrote a blog post about this. Okay. Uh, it's in my website. It's so yeah. <laughs> Uh, first thing, uh, the very first thing, uh, it's uh, you will get benefited as well as the company. If mm-hmm. the companies, um, most of the companies will sponsor you, and uh, so there are mutual benefits with you and your company. And the thing about you is, uh, so conferences. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about conferences first. Conference about. You can't learn everything in conferences. The day like uh, ten of the speakers in this um, are dumping you with information, you can't take everything. Conference are the place where you can learn uh, what to learn next. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just stole it from a tweet, popular tweet. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, still. So, if you speak at conferences, uh, uh, one, you can have a personal brand. Mm. You can create a personal brand. You. The people in your community will know uh, what you are working for and what your company is doing. Yeah. And uh, uh, who knows? Maybe uh, in uh, future, the CEO is sitting in the um, oh, yes. crowd and uh, she is planning you to recruit yeah. you for our next project. Or you know, so also you will break uh, your uh, you, know, you know the comfort zone. Like uh, most of the the most uh, uh, thing people fear about is public speaking Absolutely. and uh, we as uh, developers uh, we need uh, just apart from the coding and uh, developing skills we need uh, to improve our networking skills yeah. to know what's happening in the community as well as uh, you know, expose ourselves to the community and also it's part of giving back to the community you, right. we can complain or you know which about not having time as a um, uh, full-time employee to give back to the community, uh, contribute to the open source, but this, I see this as a way to uh, give back to the community. So I, if uh, I have to prepare for a 40 minute talk, uh, it's not always I will uh, talk about what I worked on. Sometimes I'll discuss some new tech and I'll spend nearly 40 hours Mm -hmm. to learn that and uh, teach it uh, to my audience. So it's something like giving back to the community. Right, right. Yeah, that's all.